Hi, I'm Jason LeCourt, and we're here in my luxurious basement green screen and blue screen studio to talk to you about the making of Jack vs. Lanterns, part of a series where I'll give you a glimpse into the behind the scenes of some of my movies. Low budget filmmaking at its lowest budget level, period. I mean, even right now, you can hear the heat blower going in my basement. Something that, during actual movie takes, we have to wait for to start or stop or make sure we turn off. And then everybody who's upstairs waiting for us to finish, who isn't very many people because we're not on a crew or anything like that, um, is cold while the rest of us are hot down here under the lights. Um, in Jack vs. Lanterns, I was very fortunate to work with some seasoned actors and actresses, people I've worked with before, who always make the journey easier, and some people who I haven't worked with before who also made the journey easier just because they're so professional and they understand the trials and tribulations of filmmaking at every single level. So Monique Perrin, Anjanette Clewis, Brewer Welch, uh, Jennifer Wanger, Michelle Pernay, I thank you all. You've done amazing work for me. Carrie Ann Nobles, uh, Laurie M L Laura McClellan, you guys came in um, fresh to this one, and I thank you too. You've all made it so much easier. The scene I'm going to share with you today is supposed to take place in an underground lab. Um, we don't have the budget to build an underground lab, and we shot 17 pages in that lab in one day. So what we did was we set up a curtain here and hit the blue wall behind it, and at one point we exposed how much larger the lab is. Then. When we shot the rest of it, we weren't sure if we would be able to show sides of the lab or just have blue walls. And we're still iffy on that. It's going to all depend on how many of the shots will work out. As you can see, I have a little shadow here on the green screen. Um, sometimes that's okay, depending on what other colors people are wearing and how close it relates to that shadow. We did have a lot of people who wear black. It's something that horror people own, and everybody looks good in it. I mean, even my fat butt doesn't look too bad in black. So, what I'm going to show you right now is one of the more fun scenes in the lab. A little bit of comedy in it, a little tiny bit of action. Some special effects still need to be added. Um, both of these will be rough cuts. But one is a rough cut before any special effects. There may be some sound effects in there. Um, but none of the digital effects are added. And while I try to stay away from digital effects for these films because they're more of a throwback to the 50s, 60s, and 70s drive-in, you know, American International Pictures, Rubber Monster kind of thing. So all of our creature effects, when possible, are done with overhead masks and bulky monster suits and stuff like that. Um, we do a lot of reverse footage and stop motion animation. Um, well, I do try to stay away from the digital effects. Occasionally, I will use a digital effect if it mimics an old school effect. So in the second clip, you'll see a muzzle flash. Normally, that in the old days, that would have been done with a blank. Blanks are not inherently safe. They, especially at close range and small quarters like this, they can actually be very dangerous to the actors. So that we do digitally. Blood effects. Also not always safe. Um, shoot in your own house someday and, and get fake blood all over your wife's carpet, and you'll find out just how dangerous practical blood effects can be. So we did do those digitally um, thanks to the help of Detonation Films. And, and they're, they've got some digital effects that they uh, provide for muzzle flashes, explosions, and, um, and blood. Yeah, they're fantastic. Those guys, check them out. So we're going to show you the first one. And then immediately after the second one with the effects added in. And we did get lucky enough in, in this take where the blue and the green work pretty well for, for having the keys in. So we did key in some fake lab stuff, and if we can do that throughout the entire shoot, we'll try to keep the room the same shape. Um, otherwise, we do have a gag that, that you might see in the finished film. But, <clears throat> so here it is, Monique Parent and Brewer Welch, Riley Morgan, and William Petko in a clip from Jack vs. Lanterns. Ah, he's ready. So, let's see my beloved Brad 2.0. Hmm. So tell me, what does he know?
he should remember everything up until a week or two before his death. Before my what? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Brad, my love, how are you? Better since you went to Paris. What brings your cheating, whoring, soon to be my officially ex-wife ass back here? So what's the problem? Clearly this model wasn't going to work for us. I guess I should upload the survey less of his memories. Can you remember a time when he still liked you? Oh, you bitch. Hang on, what are we supposed to do with him? Oh, she shot me. Oh. <laughs> Good. Good. All right, so that was the first clip without the um, digital effects in. Now we're going to show it to you with some of the effects laid down. And uh, hopefully you're willing to sit through it again. We also, because of the speed we work at, we set up a basic lighting set like this. A backlight, two side lights to evenly light everyone as much as possible, get some shadows off their faces, which of course is not dramatic at all. <clears throat> and sometimes the shots won't line up because... We move the people around more often than the lights. So, to add some color and add some depth and add some, some more shadows and drama and such, I digitally added lights in post. Again, it's a digital trick, which we try to avoid, except in the, in the case that if we had more time, we would have set up five or six lights with gels and scrims, and it all could have been done practically in the first place. So, to mimic a practical effect in a digital way because of our time constraints. It's a cheat, but it's a cheat we're willing to make. Um, we had Monique here for four days. Three of those were shooting days, one of those was a photography day. We had rain, wind, um, at one point when, An when we were shooting with Anjanette we had snow. We had two power outages, so our schedule got compressed a lot. And that meant one lighting setup was the way to get through everything we needed to get through, catch the footage we needed to catch, and then at my leisure, which of course I have so much of, just like all of you, um, I'm able to come back in and see if I can improve the lighting or just change the lighting more to what I would like it to be. Like in many cases, the color won't actually be as true to the image as we like, but it fits the scene better. You know, sometimes dark, darker is better, especially when your monster heads are made out of paper mache. But that'll be for another video. So enjoy the second clip with the effects, and we'll be back in about a minute and a half. Ah, he's ready. So, let's see my beloved Brad 2.0. So tell me, what does he know? He should remember everything up until a week or two before his death. Before my what? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Brad, my love, how are you? Better since you went to Paris. What brings your cheating, whoring, soon to be my officially ex-wife ass back here? So, what's the problem? Clearly, this model wasn't going to work for us. I guess I should upload the survey less of his memories. Can you remember a time when he still liked you? Oh, you bitch! Hang on, what are we supposed to do with him? Oh, she shot me. Oh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and we're back. I encourage you guys now to go on over to Monique Parent's channel. I'll try to put a link down here. I'm not really sure how all that works. I'm just kind of getting my vibe on YouTube, even though I've been on it for about 15 years. Um, 
but I encourage you to go on over there. She's got some great tutorials for makeup and hair and things like that, but now she's also going to be sharing some behind-the-scenes footage from the movie. And um, she's easier on the eyes than I am. Has a much better presence on camera. So you'll hop on over there and get to see some more. Please like us on Facebook, Jack vs. Lanterns. Check out the original movie, Lumber vs. Jack, on Amazon Prime. And uh, you'll be all caught up when this one starts to get its slow rollout, hopefully around October. See you soon.